start because it's, I think, uh, going to be three. So like we said before, a uh, very welcome to all of you. Uh, we have four speakers actually today. Alright, one speaker is on his way and uh, hopefully he'll arrive within, you know, the, the next half hour. Alright, um, since time has already passed, I am not going to go through the 5-10 minute introduction that I prepared. Uh, we'll just start with the program itself and like the banner says, we're going to be exploring the creative mind today. My intention of having organized this particular event was the thought that we, every day in the department, we concentrate a lot on the academics, right? On being critical minded, on analyses and things like that. But now that we are introducing courses on creative writing, translation studies, and we're basically the belief that our department will continue to produce creative writers. So the intention of organizing this event was actually solely on that. So today we have four speakers who will speak to us for 10 minutes, uh, sorry, for 15 minutes, as close to that as possible if you can. And then after the four speakers are done, uh, we invite the students uh, to come and read a few of their poems. And then after that, we can have the interaction. I'd also like to say that this event is going to be bilingual because many of our poets here, two of our poets um, are, you know, they write in Mizo, they write in English. And one of our prose writers who will be coming soon is also writing in English. So I'd like to invite the first speaker, Naldimpu uh, Yaronglo. I'm going to invite you first, sir. So, Naldimpuya actually was my student in OE class when I taught creative writing. He represents the Department of Physics. So many of you will wonder physics and creative writing. Actually, I wondered the same thing. I was like, why isn't he here in the English department? Because he's so good at this. Well, um, his book, Rolthar, or Rol, it was actually shortlisted for the book of the year 2018. And, um, Today he's going to speak to us about his creative process. So please kindly take note, for many of you who intend to do creative writing, you may have a number of questions for him, which you will take later on. So let's invite the boy. Thank Asian Nobel Prize and Dime, Roman Maxese, what don't do don't do do dana and cantar, Ravis Kumarka, a tantan, and tantan so it's in recognition for harnessing journalism to give voice to voiceless voice. Voice to voiceless in a Venia, the Ruru Lulang Le, then to be exploring the creative mind, the other Ruru Lang Palzu, harnessing creativity to give voice to voiceless. To give voice to voiceless dinia. When you hear in ma, the other one thing to hear English are too sorry to win, but here I'm level up, that do change that so it don't know what. So, I'm sorry, the other one thing is a song and bring a bar or two. You don't talk so it will be a little bit of 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 a little bit ก็จริงๆเด็กที่นั่งเอามาหน้าคุณกับเราไม่ต้องชินดันแต่ก็เที่ยวเสียดันจังเด็กผ่าตรงโต๊ะโต๊ะเกี่ยวสิ่งกัน
ไอ้ข้างๆเลยก็บุฟังนะตัวเราซึ่งมีเสียงสุดนุ่นเลยเพราะว่าจุ๋มจ๋องเราว่าจุ๋มเวทจุ๋มสวยด้วยนะนี่
Isuang tu nasi sang tamka upya hutat ane fangin itu ay sang pok ti natulek ane. He tahiyan nang ma ini nua mitang lagu cangga in lasangin nang ma tiar kara cenga puitu mamuin in selova sel tur isuang heklo. Irit purka nane turi mulo fangin bok sayangar ngar cumpua kal puze itu ma ma se itzawa ma se haa ma se naa. Masih hidup silau. Dunia mika min invalinge poetry dia dile. Ipoetry dia inge puang show gay dia di minso minso tase ka poetry kata sana dulu ni. Ini nak soal kan poetry min dia dia berdua tu. Tim lu macam apa show? Express ka emotion nasal tu bawa dia show kan dia dia. Cumi bangso ni technical ni. Angai poet mau tak tak hello ni kan lau pancer live dek dan dia jadi terbela show ni. Katian kah kan tuh ibu kita, bisa orang ah meter, yang big bet, yang big benda meter, so net angsi katian tak tak kan bisa orang ini sih, dengan tuh bet ini bisa orang tu, tu nak lebih bisa orang ini sih meter meter first, kah buat sih kah harus tuh kah, malah tuh dia tu nong soan slide tu step kah angsi ada dia, nong bawa nanti sih, nama malah tu. Cuma nanti orang lain cuma ni kalau dia buat kerja dalam kerja dia, dia mah masuk nanti dalam dalam dia orang yang dia tu, dia tinggal teknikal dia tu kerja dia, dia tinggal dia tu kerja dia, dia mah ah, dia buat sok tak tak loh, dia mah, ni dia mah feelings kan, dia mah dia buat apa sahaja dia kerja, tu tu dia buat loh, siapa yang dia buat loh, dia buat share, tu yang dia buat loh, siapa yang dia buat loh, tu orang cuma ni, dia tinggal dia mah dia dia orang apa sahaja dia, orang cuma ni. Tu tu kerja kerja tu mana? Kalau itu lama lama kerja, lama lama kerja kerja tu mana? So mili so ni congkam, nanti congkam ko. Ini, miso miso so ni lah kan dia ko cik ni dia, ni dia utar utar tu dia kan dia so ni. Nama lo tu tu dia kan, tin luma lama lama kan dia so tak kan so kan dia kan dia luar lo, om tu lo ta. Ini, nanti tu dia kan dia kan, aron lama teh tu lo ni. Atu tu ni. Zang shot, boleh kan siap ni apa ni, boleh juga. Tu semua ni ya, kasihan, kasihan mana ya. An soi nasi tu kan, mino, mino betul dek, mino orang dek. Kau kau pernah ada soi nasi tu kan? Amar aju, aju lihat siap. Tu orang tu ni, orang tu tu dia tu orang ramalan, amak kah kasihan tu kan mana? Ati amoi le, amoi le, kita pun kah mai tu le, no. Min, ingin ni lo mai, ati pun kah mai tu le, wah. Poetry. Kan siapa kemar dalam kasih kerja kemar tu berak kemar fangin kasih ya kemar fangin kasih eh tak awak sangat suka kemar ni ya kasih lah cuma kita ni entian pun lama semua semua kau yang di dalam lama lama kasih esok tu tinggal esok anlo nak ikan tu dia lor tiga tu dia macam an tu tu ni tu di kafe rumah ni ah tu na kasih sok tu kan siapa tu orang tu ni writing skill writing skill pang le kasih esok tu dia tu entah dia apa ya misa nula Mana cuan itu sama nevia, malam kirim pesi na yang aku versi. Mana aku velakan atsang tuania, untuk siap tu boh ama ani. Mana atsang cing cing nukan, cim tu pui angin anuai desia, du kena amisha ngaita. Nana aku velak dalam kosuanan, ha adama tina angkat solkinan, zau di film sum dua nuam akal sena, hir ngailo dalam tuang zul cuy turin. Apal leta itu, ngai tu mana ni lupa? Cakap ngom deh lama sekali, masuk ngai leh sengkala. Supaya si nasuan, mau ya sung manlo, mintui leh cantui leh nasuara. Supaya orang jaya nasuan kerjau, tak sok ngai leh omlo. Cai leh cai, dem leh dia wani am. Asap ruang hisapa sampai tu deh leh. Apian pun boleh hidup tu deh. Mesti nanti kita, sung leh omhalo. Tak bukan terus saja amik tak pada. Tuh kau ni, pasal seram siapa beli sada, kau ramai ni, izong tu musik ngai. Nah, tuh tu ramai influ 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 ini ramah. Tuh siapa tu jauh via tuh nan pan ani a, lumbi ang maya era tu dekat sana sana atas silo. Soi sena le, soi sena tara, soi sakle ti duda tuar cumpoin, mangai ni nak kuar tin lumba ting ngai lewa, siom min har sabiya masa. Bisa ulang juga, kita takin ada yang ringa. Cuan, kalau itu macam pun kepang ringa tinggal awak. Tu soi ibu saya, he hari tu dia tu soi tiada. Kau macam soi tu all tiada. Cuma orang zaman kita tiada ni. Poi tu dia ni mafan soi yang dia kahwin. Zubilai cakap ni, ani ani dia kahwin. 
อัสสะฮะมีวะอีมะสะซวงตัวนะเต็มคันพี่กูกันนัดนะเต็มเกมานี่อมซงซงกันปวดสวยกันปวดสวยที่อัสสะฮะกินเอ็งเงี้ยอ
ซูมาซีงาอัพอาเซียนไมเฮยีดูน่าเอ็กซัมเปิลก็สวยอ่ะอ่ะเราน่ะอัลลัวอัลลัวน่ะเราล้วงสวกตักตักคานี่เอ่
you know, I have stage fright and maybe a lot of you will all have, have that as well, but uh, <clears throat> when it comes to writing, uh, we can have all the time that we want to uh, portray what kind of message that we would want to give. So I think that blog writing and just writing in general is a very freeing activity. And uh, <clears throat> a little bit about my the, the background of my blog. Uh, <clears throat> so uh, when regarding the name, the, the, the name is, uh, the name of my blog is uh, Frankenstein's Dream World, a free spirit for a random utopia. So uh, the meaning behind that, I have to go back to high school because uh, when it comes to writing and create, uh, creativity and all that, I think that most of us would agree uh, a lot of our personal experiences play a role and uh, regarding uh, how the, the process goes. So uh, back in high school, uh, I was, uh, I had a pretty tough time uh, fitting in and uh, I, I was actually a, a, a victim of bullying because uh, you, would, you would think that that's a surprise but uh, I was actually bullied and so <laughs> these people used to call me names okay so uh, one, one name that they were particularly fond of was uh, Frankenstein because obviously my head was big and you know <laughs> that so that kind of stuck with me actually and uh, when I was uh, thinking of uh, naming my blog that uh, not only the name itself stuck with me, but uh, the, the process of the Frankenstein's monster, where Mary Shelley described how uh, the, the the monster is, you know, made up of uh, different parts of the, uh, the, the the dead and how he stitched together. So uh, that became such a metaphorical thing for my life because uh, uh, back in the day, I, I had such uh, big identity issues where you know I likened myself to uh, all the opinions and the doubts that people would have and the, the things that they would call me so uh, that, that all, all of those things come together would make me as a person so that was uh, way before so I, I thought that that was a pretty uh, <coughs> a special thing uh, with regards to how uh, I need my blog and regarding writing blogs uh, <coughs> I started writing blogs when uh, I was in uh, the 12th standard yeah when I was in the no, uh, when I was in 11th standard, because that was the time when I was uh, really uh, digging into literature and uh, or, or just uh, creative writing in general. So um, th that would be a time when uh, <coughs> a lot of my poems, a lot of my uh, writings, a lot of my uh, a lot of the experiences which shaped me would uh, those 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 happened, and that was a uh, very uh, active time in my life as well regarding my blog writing. So <clears throat> I think that uh, I personally believe that everyone here has a creative mind because uh, not not all of us uh, may write blogs, but uh, right now I believe that most of us would be from the English department. And what our department uh, requires is a, a very critical mind and a thought for analysis, uh, which only requires a creative mind. So in that sense, I think that. Everyone here is a, uh, has a creative mind, and most uh, just it's just the fact that most of us don't necessarily uh, choose to write blogs. And <clears throat> so, regarding, I'll talk about my inspiration for writing blogs. And uh, regarding my inspiration, uh, like the previous speaker has said, my inspiration also comes a lot from my personal experiences and my uh, the, the stuff that. Uh, which happens to me on a daily basis. So I can just, uh, you know, sit around in this. Uh, for example, I can just uh, sit around in this room, and you know, maybe I find something uh, which, uh, you know, that I find irksome, or which I find that I have to write. So uh, which I think would be good content for blog writing. So that's how it really comes. And I don't necessarily, you know, just try to write uh, by habit of force because. Uh, as I've said before, I don't write blogs on a professional level and it's just a hobby of mine that I keep. So, uh, when I uh, do get inspired, uh, it tends to come a lot in my head. So, when I, uh, in order for me to not forget, I, I immediately jot, uh, jot it down in my, uh, my, my phone and after that I, I would write my, uh, my, my blog. So, <clears throat> that is how I usually write and even when inspiration doesn't uh, immediately come to me, I would uh, what I what I personally do is uh, uh, I I like to go to the the balcony and just stare at the stars and the moon because uh, there's something about 
you know, the night time and uh, the city lights and all of that, when, when you stare at them, the, your, you know, your literary vehicle, it just, it just takes off and uh, I don't know if it works for you, but I'm just saying my personal experience, but yeah, when, when I go outside and uh, I meditate upon, you know, what I want to write and what uh, I intend to write, so I just, I just stare at the moon, the stars and just, you know, get lost in thought, so that's how inspiration usually comes to me. And regarding what and how to write a blog, uh, for me, in my blog, I, I usually write uh, a lot of uh, things uh, related to my personal uh, experience and the, uh, regarding the issues that I feel the state or the country as a whole would have. So these, these issues can uh, come to, you know, can, can can be like social, cultural, religious aspects, all of that. So even uh, when, when I find things which, you know, I, find, uh, I, I feel I have uh, to s uh, voice out my opinions about, I tend to write on my blog. And, um, and for me, so that naturally means that I write non-fiction. So uh, even if you want to write fiction, I don't, I don't necessarily feel that, you know, you, can take ins you cannot take inspiration from the real life. So, I feel that even if you want to write fiction or non-fiction, I feel like the best inspiration to get is from our environment and our personal experience and uh, our voices, which can be, uh, you know, naturally voiced out in what what we write. And we also have to remember that uh, if we choose to write blogs, uh, what what I feel is that it's not just about you know writing poems, writing essays. It's uh, it's about the creative process which goes behind it. And the crafting of words is also uh, necessary. And I feel like uh, everyone in this uh, hall right now has the ca capabilities to uh, do that. So I, I think that uh, for the creative process regarding writing blogs, everyone has the potential to do that. And it is something which has worked a ton for me. And I feel that uh, sometimes in order uh, for us to write blogs, I think we have to think outside of the box because uh, our department calls for a very liberal set of mind, uh, which says that uh, if we have to think outside of the box, it would have to be a lot of uh, outside of the, 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 the system which uh, shapes us. And I think that in order for us to do that, we have to voice out our opinions. And as I said, uh, if we do it for our, our passion alone, it becomes uh, <coughs> what, what we uh, want to convey. And for uh, in order for us to think outside the box, I think we have to stay out of what we are usually comfortable with. And for example, me, I, as I said before, I usually write about uh, <coughs> social issues, cultural issues, my personal experiences. But lately I've been writing uh, thriller and uh, romances. Uh, not that I'm, I'm saying uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm having good experiences in that, but uh, I'm saying uh, if we have to stay outside of the box, we have to stay out of our comfort zone. So recently I've been doing that as well. <coughs> so uh, regarding writer's block, uh, I think that I also have, don't necessarily have writer's block uh, like the previous speaker, but uh, uh, because I don't write on a regular basis, but what I've noticed is that uh, writer's block would depend upon the consistency of our writing because uh, while I was uh, seriously working on my uh, my novel, uh, I, I had a pretty hard time uh, finishing even chapter one of my novel because um, when writing a novel, you actually have to you know write on a consistent basis, and uh, that that was something that I struggled with and something I haven't worked on for a long time. So I may have to work on that. So, uh, but regarding my personal blog, uh, I just you know, wait for inspiration to come to me and they come in turns when they do and I jot it down and I write everything. So, uh, I think that writer's block itself is not necessarily what I would call uh, something that, you know, stops, prevents me from writing in full. And to conclude, I would lastly uh, want to uh, say that um, as I stand before you here today, uh, I would like to convey this sort of speech as some sort of an advice because uh, most of us here uh, do not necessarily uh, write blogs but even if you don't write anything, even if you, uh, <coughs> you know, don't 
write articles and essays and anything like that, I would like to advise you to, you know, have a voice in in the in all aspects of uh, cultural aspects and uh, society and uh, relationships, whatever whatever it is, faith, everything, because. Uh, the MA program calls for us to have our voices uh, being called out because uh, right now uh, we we as a department do not you know have the cap the, the capacity to uh, fully convey all of those things. So I would like to advise you to uh, just just uh, have have your voices being called out, even if if it does not necessarily uh, become writing a blog. You can, you know, update your statuses even if you find something which, you know, if, if you have gripes about anything. And I would say be brave and just uh, overall be, uh, just voice out your opinions. So, <laughs> yeah, that, that, that was that. So that, that would be how I would like, <laughs> that, that would be how I would and the uh, speech. Thank you. By the way, that was Kima. Right? He's actually a very, very sharp person, but very confident. He was the class CR and very important for our department, actually. So thank you for coming all the way. Before I invite the next speakers, I'll invite the students to read the poems, all right? I'll, I'll invite three of them. Uh, they were advised to read their shorter poems, all right? So they won't eat into the time, but I also wanted their participation, all right? So I'll first invite Afra. She's from the first call it a poem. I just call it a writing. <laughs> and the titles are Silence and I Choose. It's a really short writing. So. Uh, I will recite I Choose first. In this timeless age of finite hope, this timeless age of love unloved, of voices unheard and tears unseen, where truths hinder and lies adored, I, being a human with countless imperfections, still choose to love, to hope, to speak up, to cry, and to stand by truth as bitter as it may. I choose to be as human as I am and as I can be. And the next one, silence. The dark of the night, silence. The click of a camera, silence. The loud music, silence. None, music to my ears. It stays to pass, it passes to stay. Silence, all dreadful and hideous, yet acting all holy and divine. It's just you and I, holy silence. Grant me pain as always, and I'll exhibit pleasure until dawn, until the last cock crows. Thank you very much. Also from the first semester, Lenma, Omi. Good evening to one and all. Uh, as ma'am has introduced me, my name is Lenma, Omi. And I'm from MA semester one. Uh, a little backstory about what I'll be reading. Uh, I don't normally call myself a poet and I don't even write a lot of poems. Uh, but uh, I like to write a very simple ones and that will be able to that everyone will be able to communicate with. Uh, this poem is about a journey towards a new beginning. The steps, the steeps, the valleys we've crossed shows our strength and courage to fight. The hellos, the goodbyes, the farewell with tears nurture our innocent hearts. 
with a nonchalant smile one step ahead indeed one step at a time deep inside our fears reside encouraging myself to smile and win someplace somewhere somehow we've reached halfway through the promised land just a little more left till the zenith come my comrades don't stop now look back to see how far you've come conquer the world like your own one step at a time may be a certain step back to see god's beautiful gift of life go shine like you're meant to be go be the change you need thank you Nalsha Sami, first semester. Good evening. Um, this is a poem that I wrote um, in my high school years. So it is a little short and not very good. In my <laughs> okay. The wild flower. In a world filled with roses and daisies, she is wild, a wild flower, with only nature to love and care for her. She pollinated herself and allowed herself to grow in places no one expects her to grow. She is but a small flower, yet she's beautiful, fierce and free, just like a woman should be. Fighting the storms and winning the battles, she will bloom more beautiful than ever. Her seeds much like her soul, will travel across the globe, finding new places to spread hope. Thank you. Thank you, first semesters. I'm so proud of you. You did really well. So, uh, let us call the next speaker. I'm going to call on uh, Somte. Somte, I'd like to apologize for the little error there. And, uh, it's all right, right? Okay. <laughs> okay, she writes, she writes Mizo poems, English poems, very, very contemporary. So let's hear what she has to say. Good evening everyone. This is such a humbling experience, something that I had never, never expected to happen in my life and now that it has, I am so grateful. I feel very undeserving to be standing here before you as so-called writer, you know, to talk about the, my process of writing. But um, looking back on my life and what I have done with it and how much writing has been to me, I feel um, very grateful that I have this opportunity to share with you. So I would like to thank the organizers for this wonderful, wonderful opportunity. Um, we had already listened to the other writers and they had spoken about how they had begun writing during high school. And I feel them very much because I also began writing uh, in my high school days. Basically, when I realized that some of my friends were writing poetry in Tawalis, it is called um, some form of um, Udu uh, writings. It's, it's a song, three, four line songs which they would recite to uh, one another. So I started writing novels actually. Uh, basically, it was for me, writing was more like an escape from the mundane, routine life of living in a residential school. So I would write novels, very cheap, yeah, teenagerish love stories. And then my fellow uh, hostel mates would read. For them, it was some sort of uh, entertainment and escape as well. But I have grown so much from uh, those high school days. I have not written novels anymore. I have dabbled with so many other forms of writings. And although Miss Christina introduced to me as a poet, I would not call myself that because I don't just write poetry. I also write essays and articles as well. 
um, and because of the KGP at the Infanta, so I have opportunities to write drama and all those, uh, which some are performed, some are not. So I, I, I write many things. So I would not uh, label myself to be a poet or uh, you know a drum dramatist, but more as a writer. Um, and I know writing means different things to many people. To some, uh, writing might be an uh, instructive method or a constructive method, let us say. But to most of us, as um, the other panelists have already spoken, for me it is a cathartic experience. And I write very whimsically. I write as Rao, Tan when it comes to me. Uh, and, and I, I have also attempted to write, you know, very serious poetry where I want to talk about the society and all those, but uh, I have failed. They remain in my draft, in, in my notes. But those that come to me whimsically, they, they, they just flow out, you know. Uh, but then uh, uh, my supervisor, Bubarad, and I, we are recently working on editing some of my poetry to be published. And it is through the process of editing that I have realized what writing means to others, why it should, you know, talk about certain things and why it should reflect our society or our groundings. But it doesn't mean that uh, in the process of all those, I should lose myself, you know, I should lose my interest or I should lose what I want to say. I think uh, in terms of writing, there will be many people telling you many things like, is all society, we are very close to society, right? You would have people come and say, So will you please write a short love poem for my wife? Or someone would say, I want to convey this to my wife, why why we play something, come and close us. You know, but <laughs> what I want to say is, don't be, you know, maybe you were able to write for them, but I feel that to write, one has to be true to what one wants to say, not to be, um, you know, not to be, um, not to be composed to order, but write as inspiration comes to you. And I feel that uh, when people write, you know, we, we tend to focus on other people's writing and it, it's very easy to fall, to fall into prey to what other people have to say about our writings or writings in general. So I, I believe for me, um, I believe that it is important to have a personal relationship with writing, what writing means to me. To some, it might be, like I had said, it might be instructive, to some it might be cathartic, to some it might be just um, your way of, you know, a secretive person writing about something or an introvert writing, finding his or her voice through writing. So I feel that it is important as writers to have that personal relationship with writing and to be true to it, not to change uh, despite what people would say. Um, and also, uh, I feel that saying that we have to be true to ourselves, uh, uh, I think it is important that we find our zone of comfort. Some people might write, write in very high flow, um, uh, poetically, beautifully, beautiful sounding, you know, with all the rhythmic patterns and all those, and some might write in very, very simple English. From as for me, I write in simple English. It was something that Miss Lalti had advised me during our um, MA classes. She told me that I should write in simple English because it was my forte, and I tried to work with that in, in very simple English and. Most of my writings would have a conversational tone. Uh, it would be like, I am conversing with you, or I would say my love to a non-existent my love, or to, <laughs> to someone else, you know, I would. So it's, 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 it's the creative process, you know, because I, I want to write in the conversational tone to have the engagement of the reader as well. And um, so I feel that if, if we write, we should find that zone of comfort the, the kind of style that we would want to write. And um, 
uh, also I feel that it is important to uh, to find things that inspire, you know, because in Mizo society we are so busy getting on with life, you know, Koshanate in Panangaya, Kotla Nate in Panangaya, it's one in them. We don't have much time, you know, we, we, we fail to have to find what Virginia Woolf would call a room of one's own. So I feel that it is important to find that room, that space where we can be ourselves, our creative selves, where we can implore and explore our creative bent of mind. So I, I feel that it is important that we learn to be alone, you know, and that also, uh, if, uh, in terms of inspiration, I, I, I also feel that it is important that we choose wisely uh, to, to hang out with the right person, you know, to read the right books, to be inspired by, not, not just inspired, maybe, in fires, you know, find people who inspire you, so. <laughs> I think uh, it is very important and to be alone for me, uh, I would be among the crowd but then when I am really inspired, I would like to be alone, to be with my thought and so that I could write and recollect things. So, and also, um, my, uh, I would not call it a writer's blog, but my challenge, you know, biggest challenge, with myself as I write is to stay away from the social and religious conditioning that I have received in my life. So because I cannot be fake in my writing, I have to be true to myself or true to my writing. So I have to escape certain things, like I had said, because I am an active KGP member. There are things that I cannot say to others, you know, things that need to be constantly toned down things that have to be constantly acceptable by the society, but it is in writing that I can really say what I want to say. I can be really harsh, I can talk about, you know, someone once read my writing and commented on my blog, do you write erotica? And I was like, talking about touching skin, skin is not erotica, but anyway, that's, you know, things that we cannot say uh, in our day-to-day -day basis, I have been able to say in my writings, so uh, that, there is that challenge, you know, to be true to myself, not to be conditioned or to use whatever social or religious conditionings that I have received to write better. So, um, and personally, my biggest challenge would be in translating, because when you translate, there are so many things to consider. It is not only the creative process of transcreating. Uh, I ha had uh, translated uh, Mr. Le Lintzanga Putaite as short story Baby Limzan and my, it was so difficult because I had to be careful of not overstepping on Putaite as writing, you know, to, to maintain his personal identity through his writing and to maintain my own identity as a translator. So that was very difficult. And uh, when it comes to, uh, comes to translating from English to Mizo, uh, it is very difficult because we have to consider the cultural uh, nuances that we have to translate. Because English or American culture will have their own way of saying, which we don't have uh, in, in Mizo, which we don't have. In, it's true, vice versa as well. You know, when I translate from Mizo to English, I try to stay away from the conventional, traditional form of sayings, you know, uh, like avoiding the cliches. So trying to translate all the Mizo puns and wits and culture as well is a bit uh, challenge for me. And because I am, like I had already told you, because I'm a whimsical writing, translation is very, very difficult for me because it cannot be done whimsically. You have so many things to consider. So um, those are my biggest challenges as a writer, as a translator. And um, well, I think that will be it. To end my speech, I would like to read two of my writings. One. Uh, a uh, short poetry and another one an essay. Um, oh, I, yeah, I almost forgot. I write both in Mizo and English. Okay, I see a box, thank you. <laughs> um, 
uh, I write both in Mizo and English because there are things which cannot be expressed in Mizo, which can only be expressed in English, and there are also, to me, things that can only be expressed in Mizo. For example, my friend, yeah, we talked about Armin, so she scolded me. No? She said, Sonte Ziaonte. She scolded me. So I retorted back to her through my poem saying, Ziaomin Kamoilo, Van Wang Pasarito, Nahian. Those are the things that you cannot say in English. There are things that you have to say in Mizo. And then there are things like, um, I, I wrote an essay. I'm sure we, we have all listened to Kim Kimi's Inbox, right? The movie that came out a few months ago. And so many people had so many things to say. We Mizos are so opinionated, right? We tend to say so many criticisms without no constructive criticism. So I kind of felt sorry for her and because I, I found the music video very inspiring. So I wrote an essay. I could not write a poem out of it because it can only be written in an essay. So I wrote, um, it was titled Empty Inboxes and the Search for the Self and an analysis of Kim Kimi's inbox. Okay, so there I wrote about the importance of finding ourselves, the importance of finding our own identity. Anyway, let that be. Uh, I just wanted to uh, explain why I wrote both in English and Mizo and also in poems and uh, to, uh, essays or articles. So let me read. This is uh, the, the two works which I have chosen to read are to tell you why I write. Okay, why I write. Okay, so I'll read a short one. It's, uh, the the poem is titled "Here to Say." Okay. I just wanted to be singing of love, eyes fast closed in this interestedness. But they are here to say it should be political. It should talk about reality and touch on the philosophical and human young minds. And still I dream in sunset strewn clouds and sing in starlit vibrato. I still listen in rain-washed ears. Who is here to say? Like petals, we fall from the tree of life, each hope of rejuvenation in our cherished ambitions lost, lost, lost. And yet I still dream in lavender hues and still sing in euphoric voice. And I still listen in moonchild ears. For no one is here to stay, no one is here to say. And my essay is called Finding My Own Voice. This was published in my blog on 24 May 2019. Okay, this is where I talked about women's subjugation and where women, you know, you, you reach a certain point in life where your society calls you Lula Sinyan and instead of Mizo saying I Ubate Zatiamna, you know, when it comes to a single girl being Lula Sinyan and people tend to laugh at you. So this is basically where I, I talked about all that, you know, bringing Naomi Wolf and Virginia Wolf and all those um, traditions and this is how I end and I will be ending today's speech with this. I have found my own voice and no one can have nothing to do with it. It might not be the voice that changes the course of the world. It might not be the voice that opens up doors and let the light shine through. It might not be the voice that stirs up hearts and enlightened minds. No, it might be a small voice, an insignificant voice that is easily drowned by louder ones. It might be a voice that one can easily miss. It might be a voice that no one really pays heed to. But it is and will always be the voice that I have found and like many women before me, it will find resonance somewhere along the way and there you will hear me speak. Thank you. First, let's call on Rivka to read her short poem. Rivka? Of roses blooming, and I 
as colorful as a rainbow. Though dark days come uninvited, with thee comes a silver lining. Though mistakes happen unintended, with thee a hope as bright as lightning. I find thy presence softly alluring, like warmth in winter cold. Let fate be kind on thy daily living, old age and everlasting bond. Thank you. Thank you, Rivka. Let's call on Margaret Jomte, third semester.
tahan om kaca lutu, nuam kati lutu, kafu lutu, kalau nak lutu, masa kat yang tuh tuh tau mesti nak bangkan, lap dewo kali. Kangam lalu dewo sih na, lap om yang yang itu sih pa ke pangai le don boka. Soang soang ye. Muk muk kita orang siapa ni? Kau itu belum berdebat tu. Misal orang kau mahu lawan lawan misal. Kau yang misal kau mahu misal orang ni. Anu belum berdebat tu apa yang sih nula kau itu. Tiada kalau sesuatu. Kau mahu faham sih nasi kau tiada tu apa kau itu. Kau mahu faham tu sih ni. Ati ini tu kalau orang orang tu akan kau mahu faham kalau sesuatu. So, masih orang jin kata nawa ni, ah, lo, dua, lo wang ya. Ini, tuh hotel, ini sah lagi ni, kan saya tuh tu, tuh dia kan saya ni. Betul, kau kat sini kah, betul ni, tuh cili kari, ni mazza apa itu? Lo, paling tinggal dia ni, kah, tahu so. Tak cerita kerim, itu mahu lalu di expression, long lalu naik lalu di expression. Ini pada orang kami, abu latih orang yang mohon betul itu mahu ibu tak cerita kerim, ini mahu expression. Titi yang itu tak kerim, macam macam itu izuan kerim, ilong lalu tu ka, oh ilong lalu tu di express tan. Mesin mana ekspres orang ni lawan ini, mana dia kerja tadi udah kehijauan. Jadi kan ekspres dah ni nak lawatan. Cina dia buat ekspres kan orang, bang Mai dia buat ekspres kan orang, Cang Kang dia buat ekspres kan orang. Ajar pola ya, zaman lihat macam ni macam apa? Aku urut je, urut urut je, anum. Jadi manusia itu tuan revo kerim, kan siapa yang hendak menjadi media itu ekspres begini, kan zalene itu ekspres ini, cuma ekspres orang tu cangkau ni dia, ringan dia. Ini motor dia kan ekspres dia berani macam tu kan dia lap dia logo langkah. Atiem le isual, cuma ekspres orang, atau tiem le dia macam langkah, cuma ni dia cuma. Kita ingin mohon orang siap atau mungkin cukup tani. Om lupa cakap ini kita orang mungkin tu, mungkin tu istilah tu di tamai lom ni terus tu. Apan dulu ajaran, apan dulu tiap tiap mama. Sentan ajaran kita ramah mama, ekspres tangan, jimihan jisko nak mama. Macam macam terlalu terlalu loya, kalau macam ada bukalan dia mai tu dia. Tak nak tadi ni Hendrix ni, jam sepanggal om le ya. Ruf tapal dollar medan tu dia buat us hosak ha YouTube ada orang sini ulah, mana ni betul tak kira. Ringkas tarik kuang buah kan, dia tinggal rumah kan. Ada dua melodi ya om, tu tu om orang express. Amas saya kerja ane lama kerim tu ni tu. Tentu building tu kan panduan, mungkin ada antian, antian kan mungkin ada kaji, training sculpture kan mungkin ada fotografi itu. So mesti macam ni cerita cerita kalau orang tak, kira ada mana orang siang siang kan, kreatif, ada yang ni tu kan kreatif itu yang mana, kita kreatif work tak cuan, duty kan lo orang tak, mui tak ada memang. Duty di Indonesia juga tiap di sana dia juga tiap mahu tinggal di sana. Cucu kadu kau lor. Indonesia juga zoom kan di sini kan sih zoom nanti. Cuan cuan ania ni ni pun kena kan sih zoom top top tengah zoom tanah sih. Puma faham tu orang sih antiar zaman zoom kau tanya tiar orang. Kreatif kan, beauty ha om. Jadi tu mizoh so mungkin tiap kira lo main he, kan tiap kira bocor, kan tiap tu bocor lo, football kan tiap tu bermain lo, macam ni kan. 
Chiar so, chiar to so, ti hi antan shen na ni zo. Tai ma pa hara ni te, pe do zong zong pun chiar ni la, tu zu a fu yi zio a lo ngai lo u la, ti ma ta na ka se. Zio, zio a tu se pa kat ka na yi zong ma la, i dang te dang deng zao na se yi ka shen na pe zu. Ka bu zu so yi hi, ka pe lo. ก็ทุกอย่างเนี่ยเอาก็ช่วงเราก็เนี่ยไม่เที่ยงดวงก็ที่เราเรียกเขาพูดเช่นนี้ปัญหาก็จะเกิดตัวอ่ะมีเรื